The conclusion of World War II caused significant destruction to European countries, impacting their economies and military capabilities. During this period, the United States and the Soviet Union became the world's foremost nations, gaining superpower status with substantial strength and influence to shape global events. However, even though they both won the war, they had different objectives, which caused tensions between the two nations. One major factor contributing to their differences was the contrasting political systems. The United States followed democratic principles, while the Soviet Union was ruled by a totalitarian regime. The Soviets felt offended because the United States did not acknowledge their communist government. In terms of the economy, the countries were also in disagreement. During the period of Soviet communism, the government had complete control over all property and economic activities. In contrast, in the United States, both citizens and corporations played a significant role in the economy. Furthermore, there were unresolved complaints on both sides. The United States was displeased with Stalin, the leader of the Soviet Union, for previously forming an alliance with Hitler. Stalin was frustrated that the United States took a long time to attack Hitler in Europe. He was also unhappy about the United States keeping the development of the atomic bomb a secret. Stalin caused tension by not permitting democratic elections in Poland and other regions of Eastern Europe, going against his commitment made at the Yalta Conference. Stalin established communist governments in European nations that were occupied by Soviet troops. These nations became satellite nations, heavily dependent on and controlled by the Soviet Union. This situation made British Prime Minister Winston Churchill worried, so he used the term Iron Curtain to describe the separation between the nations influenced by the Soviet Union and the capitalist democracies of the West. The Iron Curtain was a barrier that separated Eastern European nations from Western powers and made the divide between the two superpowers even greater. The different objectives of the United States and the Soviet Union following World War II resulted in a period called the Cold War. During this time, the two major powers were in a state of hostility without engaging in direct military action. Both nations aimed to expand their political and economic influence on a global scale. The United States implemented a policy called containment to counter the expansion of Soviet influence. The purpose of this approach was to prevent the expansion of the Soviet Union by creating alliances and providing support to less powerful countries. President Truman's foreign policy strongly supported containment, which placed the United States in direct opposition to the Soviet Union. The United States offered diplomatic and financial aid to countries in order to help them resist the influence of the Soviet Union. Military intervention was sometimes employed to stop the spread of communism in countries that were at risk. The Cold War was complicated, so the United States had to make new intelligence agencies. An example of such an agency was the Central Intelligence Agency, CIA. The CIA's main job was to gather information from different sources, like the military and State Department, and carry out secret operations in other countries. These operations were conducted to collect information, exert influence on events, and safeguard the interests of the United States during the Cold War. Truman encountered his initial challenge in implementing containment when Greece and Turkey sought economic and military aid in 1947. The Truman Doctrine was proposed by the president to support any country that opposed the expansion of communism. Congress backed this approach and provided assistance to both Turkey and Greece. Besides Greece and Turkey, Western Europe was facing significant economic challenges, which were exacerbated by a harsh winter in 1946 to 1947. This difficult time resulted in crops being damaged, water transportation being disrupted, and shortages of fuel. The Marshall Plan, proposed by Secretary of State George Marshall, aimed to offer economic aid to countries that worked together with American economic objectives. The plan successfully helped 16 countries in Western Europe by supporting their reconstruction and effectively stopping the spread of communism in the region. Following World War II, the United States and its allies held contrasting viewpoints with the Soviet Union concerning the reunification of Germany. At first, the Allies had decided to split Germany into four zones. The western zones were to be occupied by the United States, Great Britain, and France, while the eastern zone was to be occupied by the Soviet Union. The western allies made the decision to merge their zones into one country, while Berlin stayed under Soviet control. 
Nevertheless, there was a lack of consensus with the Soviets regarding unrestricted entry to Berlin. Stalin, the Soviet Union's leader, reacted by halting all transportation to West Berlin, thereby obstructing the supply of food and fuel to that specific area of the city. The United States and Britain started the Berlin airlift in response to the blockade. Planes delivered necessary supplies to West Berlin for 327 days, supporting its population. In the end, the Soviets decided to end the blockade. Due to these events, the western region of Germany, which includes West Berlin, emerged as a new country known as the Federal Republic of Germany, or West Germany. On the other hand, the Soviet Union created the German Democratic Republic, commonly referred to as East Germany, which encompassed East Berlin. The Berlin blockade caused Western nations to worry about Soviet aggression. As a response, the United States, Canada, and 10 European countries came together to create a defensive military alliance called the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO. The NATO members promised that if one member is attacked, it will be seen as an attack on all members. They also agreed to work together and support each other in defense and cooperation, 